Hey, I'm C Dinky. Oh boy, where do I even start? The Grounded 1.4 trailer reveal just dropped and man, there is a lot to cover. A little bit less than I expected. I did expect a lot more New Game Plus stuff to be shown, but I guess we'll have to find that out when we actually get to play 1.4 literally tomorrow. And you betcha I'll be up at whenever time it is, probably in the 2 a.m.s for me, I'll be streaming all day long of Grounded, hopefully getting to like New Game Plus 3 or 4. I'm going to be speed running the game and also showing you guys a bunch of the new options like the Ant Queens and all the new gear. But before we get into things if you'd like this video at any point in time please make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below or even comment i'll really appreciate that it helps me grow as a content creator and it encourages me to make more grounded content for you guys so the very first thing in the trailer we see are the two teens pete and hoops in the red ant cave they're both wearing the ant queen armor looks like hoops is wearing the red ant queen and pete is wearing the fire ant queen's armor set which i would like to think we get after befriending infecting or even doing the third option for all of the ant queens and we also see here that pete is rocking a spatula which belongs to burger which we will get into in just a little bit. Right after that, we see Willow, Max, and Hoops sitting on their base, and they're all rocking the Ant Queen's armor. We got Max here with the Red Ant Queen. We got Willow with the Black Ant Queen's armor, as well as Hoops with the Fire Ant Queen's armor set. And if we take a look inside their base, we can see a new decoration item, which looks like a chandelier, which could be crafted with all the new Ant Pheromone gems. Next up, they go ahead and just shelf the backyard for all the new PlayStation and Nintendo Switch, or even the PC or Xbox players coming into the game. We see Willow here with the Mantis gear on in the Assistant Manager box fight and we see a new weapon in her hands which looks like it's a bone sword it is definitely quite difficult to figure out what this thing is it's definitely a sword because it's got a sharp point but from this image i can't tell a lot from this right after that we see max and pete in the sandbox and pete is running away from her antlion and he also has the burgle weapon once again we also finally have the pov of the mint sword that was first teased ages ago this thing is massive almost covering up half of the right hand side of the screen i'm not sure if you're going to be at a disadvantage when rocking this weapon i guess we'll have to just wait and see the next 10 seconds or so of the trailer is just showing the new players the new areas also showing off the new bosses that they are going to encounter when playing the game and who can forget they always have to plug in playgrounds at least somewhere in one of their trailers now we finally get to see max pete and hoops showing off the new ant queen's armor in high definition we got pete on the left here rocking the fire ant queen's armor set which has been teased for a very long time we have max in the middle rocking the black ant queen's armor set i'm just saying this because the armor set is very dark and then we have hoops on the side that is rocking the red ant queen armor set because it has a very light red tint just like all the red ants in the game we also see behind max is the termite organ which was teased in the pax reveal as well as the chandeliers once again which looks like they glow in the dark we see the teens running out of the case looking like they just started new game plus we also see a more clear version of the red ant queen's armor set that hoops is wearing and we know this is a new game plus because the devs tweeted a few days ago on their twitter page about the new game plus anomalies detected and in the picture in the very bottom we can see the new milk mole which we see here in the trailer as well we now get to see the new gear coming into the game which is heat rock and the burger gear set i don't know what burgle did but maybe we have to kill burgle as a boss fight but we see here he has the spatula of burgle which we've seen previously a few minutes ago and the new burgle face mask so there could be a very high chance that in one of the new game plus alternate realities burgle might be the bad guy and we have to fight him to get his gear and use his gear for ourselves we then get to see the new reveal of the queens we've seen these in the packs and teasers but mainly we get to see the new red ant queen which we have not seen in game before only just an image but it is a little odd that we see a lot of light shining down on the red ant queen so possibly she might be in the abandoned ant hill or somewhere up the very top of the red ant hill that's already existing we also see the new game plus secret door opening and we can see on the monitors here that we have defeated the java manic and all the bosses besides the infected broodmother which is what we are going to need to get inside of it to activate new game plus we then see them walking down this corridor into the new remix of room and on the left side of the screen we see some analyzed bread not too sure what the bread means but in new game plus there seems to be bread almost everywhere we also get one exact frame of the entire whiteboard being shown which is very interesting so let's get a zoom in on that we see a lot of math going like e equals mc squared and all that but the main thing i want to take away from it is that the dimensions have repeated actions across reported timelines so the black line might be our single timeline that we're in right now the red timeline might be new game plus one and the blue timeline might be new game plus two so it seems that our actions in new game plus one and the regular game mode will definitely transfer over into the other new game pluses so it does seem that wendell has time traveled himself because he would have had to have gotten this information from somewhere and this is confirmed by in the bottom right 
why Wendell has seen an alternate version of himself that he has blurred out, or it could possibly be him when he hasn't been raisined. There is also a bunch of different squibbles, like some blue raw science and a pickaxe equals red raw science. I have no idea what that means. I'm not as good as a scientist like Wendell, okay? The teens then walk around the corner into the big raw science orb, which is the remixer, and we've seen in a Twitter post that Willow is sitting there, like, cranking the handle, possibly activating it to go to the alternate dimension or something. It is also very interesting to see that the button or the knob to turn on the remixer says do not touch and the requirements needed to go into the remixer room is killing all the bosses but the infected broodmother. So if Wendell or anyone else didn't want us to be in this room, why would they have a requirement of defeating the bosses for? And then we see Max and Willow here using spicy weapons versus a ladybird lava. Like have they not peeped it and realized that the ladybird lava is resistant to spicy damage? We then see the teens fighting the infected broodmother and we can see here the sour katanga, the sour mace as well as the new sour earwig sword looking thing. And finally we get this awesome sick shot of an explosion in the background the teens aren't looking at it because they're cool just like in the movies we see the teens once again rocking the new ant queen armor set and some of the weapons that were teased but have a look at what is in pete's left hand we see an infected black ant shield possibly so i think this infected black ant shield or infected shield might be the only way to block explosive attacks Finally. And also, it wouldn't make sense if they had the Volatile Fang Trinket on a shield that does explosive on perfect parries. I'm just pretty sure this is going to block explosive attacks. So, the infected Bull Spider and the infected Brumel's Bomb attacks can finally be blocked. Thank you very much, devs. And that there is everything that has been teased coming into Grand 1.4. When the full update drops tomorrow, I'll be definitely streaming and showing you guys all the new things in the game. There is going to be a lot, and I'm already pumped for it, and I hope you guys are as well. And if you guys have made it this far into the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys when 1.4 fully drops.